Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm taking a look at On One Photo Raw 2023. This new version is available today, starting at 10 a.m. U.S. Pacific time. So if you're seeing this video before then, hang tight. You're gonna have it really soon. This video is gonna be kind of a beginner's guide, kind of a getting started with On One sort of video. At a high level, I'm gonna cover some of the key new features and just talk about how you can get started with this app. To be clear, there's so much in the app, I couldn't possibly cover it all in a single video, much less even a dozen videos. But I'm gonna cover some of the high points, get you started so you can start editing your photos. I also recommend checking out their website, and I'll put a link down below to get their user guide, which I assume is gonna be published any moment now regarding this new version, but even so, the previous user guides are there, and a lot of that is still applicable. Um, also, if you haven't gotten this app yet, get a free trial at the link down below. And if you enjoy this kind of stuff, be sure and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be covering this app in a lot of detail. Let's get started. Uh, when you open the app, you can uh, use either browsing or catalog folders. I tend to stay in browse, but some people do prefer to catalog their folders. Again, that user guide will talk a lot about the differences. I'm not gonna delve into all of that. In the bottom left-hand corner, you've got different views that you can adjust, whether you want a film strip view or single image or grid view, which is what I'm in now. You can also adjust the size of the previews of these images by moving this slider back and forth. And you can also adjust the view based on whether it's a date captured or you know the date edited things like that so um, that's all helpful and of course you've got likes and dislikes you've got star and color ratings things like that on this right hand side anytime you've clicked on a photo it will give you the basic info about that image as well as different keywords that you've either applied or used keyword ai which is one of the new features and in fact, this is a good time to stop and talk about the new features. Super Select AI, which is amazing. Mask AI, Tax Sharp AI, Keyword AI, Ocudrone, uh, which is a whole bunch of new skies. Super colorful, super fun. In fact, I made a whole playlist about On One 2023. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link there because those uh, videos will go into more depth on individual features. You've got AI adaptive presets. And don't forget, you've also got previous AI tools, including Resize AI, which is AI-based in Enlargement and no noise AI, AI based noise reduction, which pairs really well with Tax Sharp AI. There's just so much. It's kind of crazy and incredible. While we're in this main view, um, I'm in the browse section, as you can see here, but the next section is edit. And that's where we're going to spend a bit more time. But then below that, you've got layers, you've got panoramas, you've got HDR, you've got focus stacking and time lapse. You got a lot, my friends, a lot. And in the bottom, you've got AI resize to do that enlargement, a great print module, and not to mention export, where you can do things like add a watermark. There's just so much going on, but we're gonna dive straight into the editing tab. When you do that, when you're in an image, on the left-hand side, you've got cropping and transforming, which allow you to kind of get your canvas set, but you've also got like the new tool, Super Select AI, which allows you, as the name implies, to select an area of the photo. It does segmentation for you. So as I click that tool and hover over, it, you can see it's isolated the sky or the foreground and then I can just click to select that right click so let me just click there it turns blue I can right click and it gives me the ability to go straight into a filter and apply it to that part of the photo this is amazing technology I covered in one of those videos in that playlist I love it this may be the tool that you use the most and now what I want to do is jump into the edits and kind of show you how some of this stuff works. There's the tone and color section, which you can open and close each of these sections by just clicking on the title. Tone and color, as the name implies, kind of like the develop module in Lightroom. Lots of power over contrast, highlights, shadows, exposure. You can see all that. There's structure, there's different temperature adjustments. Um, the next section I want to point out specifically is noise and sharpening. And that's where no noise AI exists, but also their new tack sharp AI. And the beauty is you have the ability to to do both right here, which is that delicate dance between how much noise reduction do I do, which is kind of smoothing and softening the image, versus how much sharpening do I do, which as the name implies is creating a little bit crisper image and using both together gives you the ability to come in and really crisp things up in a nice way. Just to show you Tech Sharp AI, I'll zoom in on this particular image and give that a second to go ahead and build out its preview. And if you take a look at it, this menu on the left-hand side, you can just see, I mean, so much crisper and sharper, and that's just what the power of this tool does. And of course, the beauty is, if you get on the Both tab, you can apply noise reduction at the same time and achieve that balance that you're looking for. 
Now, a couple of other key sections here on the develop tab are lens correction, which as the name implies, uh, you can see I'm kind of making the adjustment between the before and after here. It uh, comes in and adjusts based on your lens. It automatically detects lenses and you've got a vast list different lens choices if for some reason it's incorrect. And of course, there's lots of different brands that it recognizes as well. This help you fix distortion and things like that. And then transform is a really powerful tool that allows you to fix verticals. For example, like if you're shooting in a city or architecture, and sometimes with wide angle lenses, buildings look like they're leaning backwards. This will help you straighten that up. Don't really need it in this photo. Overall, develop, very powerful. And I'll come back and do more videos about these specific tools. I want to jump into effects because this is the basic filters that are included and there's a lot of them and also this is where mask ai resides which is another new technology so you click to add a filter and let's say i want to add dynamic contrast but you can see on the left hand side you have the ability to use mask ai and apply it to certain parts of the photo i could choose architecture i could choose natural ground i could choose sky water or mountains things like that and so let's say i'm going to choose natural ground and mountains and i want to get dynamic contrast I click that and it applies it and it picked out those areas and applied that adjustment specifically so I could come in and do things like that it's basically using AI to identify parts of the image and allowing you to quickly make adjustments to them basically removing the need to spend a whole lot of time masking I'm going to come back and do more about mask AI it's a really powerful technology and certainly incredibly useful okay sky is the next tab and when you click on that it'll automatically identify the sky and create a mask for it allowing you to swap it out out. So you can see the mask is there. You have the opportunity here to refine it if you need to. And I recommend taking your time just to make sure it's exactly what you want. But once you do that, you've got lots of sky options, including this new Drone category, which I talked about in one of those videos in that playlist that I referenced. There's tons of sky options here and lots of different categories, including some really, really colorful and fun images. You can see there, it automatically goes in and applies that sky. The only thing I recommend that you do is go slow here because you wanna make sure that the lighting and the tones and the colors in your foreground match the sky, not to mention the direction of where the light may be coming from. Uh, there's also a reflection. So if you have water, you can apply a reflection and adjust that as well. It's really powerful. It's improved over the previous version. I think it's fantastic. And all these Ocudron skies are just a lot of fun to be honest. So that's really powerful. That's also included here in On1 2023 and part of the uh, great fun that you're going to have editing in this app. Okay, the next tab is portrait. And lo again, lots of power here. This is a single portrait, but you have the ability to click here and add another face if you need to. And then in here, you've got skin retouching, face retouching, eyes and mouth. And you can go in with these mouth tools or eye tool and more specifically align the mask to that particular part of the photo. Lots of power and control over portraits so that you can refine the image. And this works really well as touch-up tools after you've done some basic things in develop or even local adjustments. You could swap out backgrounds, all that kind of stuff. Again, lots of power, lots of control, frankly, just a lot of fun. And now I wanna show you local adjustments. Okay, here's an image that I've already edited. So that's the before and that's the after. I did some things on develop and I did some things in effects. That is the actual sky. It was a beautiful sunset. But in local adjustments, as the name implies, it allows you to make adjustments locally. And you just click on add adjustment and it gives you this panel here. And all these sliders are pretty close to mimicking what you find on develop. But as the name implies, it allows you to mask them in locally to be specific and targeted about those adjustments. Whereas on the develop tab, they're global in scope. The cool thing is the mask AI technology that I showed you on the effects tab is also available here. So you can click on the masking tool and you can go into mask AI here and choose, let's say architecture, man-made ground. I'm just gonna pick up a lot of the different things in order to get this foreground and then I'll hit apply. Now I wanna make sure that I paint in, which is basically inverting the mask you can invert back and forth if you want to. So just be specific about whether you're painting in or painting out. This is paint in because I want to make adjustments to the areas that I selected. And what I want to do is basically brighten it a little bit and maybe add a little bit of warmth. And I've just been able to isolate really quickly that specific part of the image without having to create a mask. I just click a couple of buttons and I'm done. So this gives you the ability to isolate different areas. I could go do some things in the sky if I wanted to. It depends. Every image is going to be different. Your mileage may vary in terms of what you're trying to do and how you do it. The point is local adjustments, really powerful, goes great as a complement to what you've already done in develop and effects. I use it often as kind of a touch up after I've done some global effects and develop, or I may do develop first globally, 
effects, which are going to be fairly specific, and then local to come in and really adjust and fine tune some specific parts of the image at the end of my editing process. That's how it works. The last thing that you may be doing when you're done editing and doing all these things is down here in the bottom. You've got AI resize. Click on that and you've got options to resize or enlarge your photo based on AI without losing quality or detail. You've got a fantastic print module, lots of options there. And of course, the ability to export, which could include watermarking and things like that. On One 2023 is really a marvelous product. Lots of power, lots of control. I'll be back doing more tutorials about it. This was kind of a getting started tutorial to show you, kind of walk you around, give you a tour of the app for those of you that may be beginners and really get you kick started on your editing journey in On One. Subscribe, I'll be making a lot more videos about On One. Hope this gives you a good idea of how to get started. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back really soon. You guys take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. And until then, adios.